Kevin, I suppose it's very timely that you're here in Asia because a lot of the conversations we've been having here at CNBC is how can Asia play a role in this AI theme that we're seeing? And a lot of the talk we've been having with people who've been coming on our show is around some of the secondary effects in this part of the world, things like cybersecurity, cooling of the data centers, and some of the energy plays as well. So that's certainly a lot of the excitement from an investment theme. Can you tell us, because you're sitting in Japan right now, which has uh, got a lot of people talking in terms of what that country can play a role in terms of AI around, uh, what you're actually doing here and where you're off to next? <laughs> sure. Yeah, so to give you some context, um, we're about a three and a half billion dollar company with about 20,000 employees. And what, what makes Infor different is that we're laser focused on just a few industries and in particular manufacturing. So uh, to answer your question, both around Gen AI and what I'm doing here, uh, I think it goes without saying that Asia Pacific is an extraordinary hub for manufacturing. Almost half of the world's manufacturing happens here on the continent. So I think it's incredibly important when you think about Gen AI and use cases, and we talked about the importance of data, uh, Asia needs to be at the center of that conversation. That's where an extraordinary value will be created both for companies in Asia, but for companies all over the world. And with our focus in manufacturing and building AI and Gen AI capabilities that are purpose-built for manufacturers, it's incredibly core to us. So yeah, I'll be in, um, in Asia for a bit. I'm going to, to Southeast Asia, I'll be here, I'll be in Manila. Um, so excited to get more exposure to the markets, the customers, to understand where the most value could be created. Yeah, I'm interested in how you're going to be able to navigate what some have called a sort of patchwork uh, regulatory system here out in Asia, which is different to what we're seeing in places like the EU. But I do want to get your thoughts on China because you had previously said, and I picked this up from Chinese state media, that you see huge potential in the China market and will continue to seek growth opportunities. And around two years ago, you did say, say that you expect it to become one of the biggest markets in the coming years. Tell us about that. Have you seen that? Sure. So as I mentioned, we're very, very focused on manufacturing. So as you well know, there is no country bigger and more important for manufacturing than China. And we see not just local Chinese companies, but obviously a huge portion of our customers in the US, in Europe and in Asia uh, have big operations in, in China. So indeed, we have seen quite a lot of growth uh, as companies continue to expand and we focus on cloud software. So that whole evolution to the cloud uh, is happening in China as well, uh, again, both for local companies as well as our, our customers abroad. And so that continued expansion, that move to the cloud, uh, that's been a great tailwind to us. And we're partnered with uh, AWS very closely. Um, so that ensures that there's great data security uh, and the like. So we feel very good about uh, our approach to China. Hmm. All right, so you are working on data security when it comes uh, to uh, uh, the work that you're doing in China. I want to ask you a broader question. You know, we, whenever we talk about AI and the development of AI and the evolution of AI, it's more US-centric. Uh, it's spilling over into Europe. Uh, China is grabbing some bit of the headlines, but what's the potential value-wise for your business in terms of how much scope and scale and contribution can come from uh, AI's implementation, uh, sorry, Asia's implementation of AI in, let's say, the next five years as yeah, part so of, as a, uh, of your revenue mix? Sure. So I, I think, as I mentioned, we're very focused in manufacturing and distribution, and over half of that takes place here in this region. So when I think about value creation, it's not just how much revenue we'll have directly from Asian customers, although obviously we expect that to grow, and it's an exciting, dynamic region that's having more economic growth than, than any other, but also it's a huge generation uh, value generation opportunity for our US customers and European customers as well. So uh, that hub, that notion of this being the center for manufacturing, for supply chains, um, it's critical to AI and gen AI and, and value creation. I think it will be uh, for the, the next five years, 10 years and beyond.